What's up guys? Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today we will be learning how to make a stop sign detector. So when I click on the stop sign, boom, this sprite pops up, right? Um, here is here is another example. When I click on the stop sign, boom, this thing comes whooshing down. Let's get straight into it. Well, obviously Scratch itself does not have a stop sign click block, right? So instead we're going to do when green flag clicked, forever set ghost effect to a hundred. This is a graphic effect that um, gives your sprite transparency. So um, if I click on this, it it is not there, right? But um, it's actually there because it's transparent. So if I set it to 50, you can see that it's kind of translucent, right? So when it's a hundred, it's transparent. You can't see it, but it's still there, all right? It's still there. And we're going to go to front layer. So now when I click on the green flag, yay, we, everything, uh, you know, is operating. And when I click on the stop sign, it pops up. Um, this is because the stop sign actually clears the graphic effects. So um, when we used to have, um, we used to have a ghost effect of 100. But when we click on that, the ghost effect becomes to zero, which allows the sprite to be seen. So that is method one. Now we're going to talk about method two, which is going to allow your sprites to move around. All right, in here, in sensing, you should find a variable called a timer. You can see it's constantly increasing. When you click on the green flag, it resets. But when you click on the stop sign, it's still going, right? So how can we exploit this? Well, we're going to do when green flag clicked forever, reset timer and go to front layer. Oh, let me hide the sprite here. So when we click, it disappears, right? And when we click on the stop sign, the timer increases. So we're going to go to events and we should find this block when loudness is bigger than 10. We can click on that and select on timer. Now we're going to enter in a value less than uh, one, let's say 0 0.1. And in, in here, we're going to say when timer is bigger than 0 0.1, we are going to show. All right. Actually, let's put this um, front layer block here. So now you can see um, there's nothing here, right? But when I click. Boom, it pops up. Um, you will notice there's a slight delay. There's a slight delay because um, of this value here. Because it call it takes 0 0.01 seconds for this event to be triggered, right? So, um, and after that, we can actually make the sprite move, right? Because um, you can actually program it, right? Let's say repeat 10, change x by uh, 10. And we're going to do go to x 0, y 0 at the start. Click on it, nothing happens, but when you click here, yay, it actually moves, right? So you can um, get creative with this and make a lot of different effects. Um, let me say repeat 20, change x by negative 10, and repeat 10, oops, repeat 10, change x by 10. So now when we click on the green flag and we click on the stop button, Yay, it kind of moves like that, right? So that's um, pretty nice. Um, you can even make it move up and down. Let's say you can actually make clones with this too. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it was pretty simple and uh, straightforward, I hope. And like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.